Joaquin Buckley, fresh off his impressive win over Vicente Luque at UFC Atlantic City, is setting his sights on another notable opponent in the welterweight division, Gilbert Burns. Buckley aims to face him at UFC St. Louis on May 11, believing it's the perfect matchup for his preferred time frame. In a recent appearance on the MMA Hour, Buckley explained why he sees Burns as an ideal opponent. He emphasized the significance of facing Burns, noting that it would further solidify his record against fighters from Gilbert's training team. Buckley currently holds a 3-1 record against them, with wins over Impa Kasangane, Andre Fialo, and Vicente Luque. Buckley's momentum has been building since his loss to Chris Curtis at UFC 282. He secured victories over Andre Fialo and Alex Morono, showcasing his striking prowess and overall skill set. On the other hand, Gilbert is coming off consecutive losses to Jack Della and Bilal after a successful run with wins over Neil Magny and Gamebred. Securing a matchup with Burns could present a challenge due to the quick turnaround from his recent fight at UFC 299. However, he has shown a willingness to remain active in his fighting career, which could make the matchup feasible. For Buckley, a win over Burns could elevate his status in the welterweight division and potentially position him as a contender for the title. As he continues his campaign in 2024, Buckley is eager to make a statement and further establish himself among the top fighters in the division. The UFC has officially announced UFC 302, scheduled for June 1 in Newark, New Jersey, at the Prudential Center. The announcement was made during UFC Atlantic City, sparking excitement among fans worldwide. Speculation is already swirling about potential headliners for the event, with many eyes on the possible return of lightweight champion Islam Makachev. Makachev has expressed his eagerness to defend his title in June and aims to fight three times this year for an active 2024. One potential contender mentioned by Makachev is Dustin Poirier, who is coming off a notable victory. The Prudential Center, known for hosting UFC events, has welcomed the promotion nine times since 2007, setting records and delivering unforgettable moments. UFC President Dana White praised Newark and the venue for their partnership, promising that UFC 302 will kick off the summer in spectacular fashion. While the main card for UFC 302 is yet to be revealed, several fights have already been announced. Middleweight, Roman Dolidze vs. Anthony Hernandez. Women's Bantamweight, Eileen Perez vs. Jocelyn Edwards. Light Welterweight, Grant Dawson vs. Joe Seletsky. Fight fans can anticipate more exciting matchups to be announced in the build-up to the event. Joe Rogan, the veteran UFC color commentator, expressed his excitement about Kamzat Chimaev's upcoming bout against Robert Whittaker during a recent episode of his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. Rogan sees the fight as a significant test for Chimaev in the middleweight division. Reflecting on Chimaev's entry into the middleweight rankings with a victory over short-notice opponent Kamaru Usman, Rogan emphasized the significance of facing a seasoned contender like Whittaker. He described Whitaker as a legit middleweight, highlighting his former championship status and recent victory over Paulo Costa. Rogan believes that facing Whitaker will be a true test for Chimaev, especially given Whitaker's stature and experience in the division. He acknowledged that Chimaev faced Usman without much preparation, but facing Whitaker presents a different challenge altogether. Rogan said this. This one, Whitaker vs. Kamzat Chimaev in Saudi Arabia. That one is gonna be wild. That's a wild one. Whitaker vs. Kamzat is legit. That's a real fight for Kamzat, because as Whitaker's a big dude, he's a big, beefy middleweight, former champion. That's a real 185 fighter, as opposed to, they gave him Kamaru Usman, and Usman didn't have a chance to prepare for that. Despite some skepticism surrounding Chimaev's chances against top middleweights, 
Rogan sees the fight against Whitaker as an opportunity for Chimaev to silence his critics and prove himself against a respected former champion who has been a prominent figure in the middleweight title conversation. Macy Barber, the rising UFC flyweight contender, is contemplating her next move in the division after her recent victory over Caitlin Sermonara at UFC 299. With six consecutive wins and a number four ranking in the flyweight division, Barber is eyeing a shot at the title against the winner of the anticipated trilogy fight between Alexa Grasso and Valentina Shevchenko. However, some suggest that Barber may need another win before challenging for the title, especially with the emergence of fighters like Manon Fioro. Despite this, Barber has been the subject of a callout from former two-time strawweight champion Rose Namajunas, who recently secured her first win as a flyweight. In response to Namajunas's callout, Barber acknowledged the significance of facing a former champion like Namajunas but expressed reservations about fighting backwards in the division. She highlighted her desire to move up the rankings and face opponents ahead of her. However, Barber acknowledged the history she shares with Nama Yunus and the bitterness that exists between them, indicating her willingness to take on the challenge if it presents itself. Making a significant weight cut, especially from 155 to 135 pounds, is indeed a considerable challenge and can pose serious risks to an athlete's health and performance. Kayla Harrison's transition to the UFC's bantamweight division for her debut fight against Holly Holm at UFC 300 has raised concerns among fans and experts alike. Tom Coughlin, an expert nutritionist, has highlighted the potential dangers associated with such a drastic weight cut. He described it as seriously risky and emphasized the considerable amount of weight Harrison would need to lose to meet the 135 pounds weight limit. Coughlin's comments underscore the importance of proper nutrition and weight management in combat sports, particularly in MMA where fighters often undergo rigorous weight cutting procedures to compete in lower weight classes. Harrison's last fight at a catch weight of 150 pounds serves as an indicator of the challenges she may face in cutting down to 135 pounds for her UFC debut. As the fight approaches, all eyes will be on her weight cut process and how she manages to make the required weight limit safely and effectively.